right, so here we are at uh, Big River and I'm gonna just do a review today on my uh, Garmin 830 after owning this for a few years um, I'm gonna give you my take on the 830 I'm gonna tell you what I like about it and the very few things that I think they could maybe upgrade or make some changes to uh, if you're thinking about buying a device that's gonna track uh, your rides uh, maybe the 830 is uh, the one for you so let's check it out so here is the Garmin 830 and uh, I'm just gonna go through each one of my screens I have a total of I believe five screens so my first screen is just my map so you see a navigation map there and you can see the speed rear gear second screen is I'm looking at my heart rate uh, my gear my speed and my cadence third screen is I have my time of day or time of ride not time of day distance I'm traveled it has my speed average speed and total ascent fourth screen has my time of day time of sunset it has the current temperature and my direction I'm heading which is southeast right now and the fifth screen has my heart rate RPM or my speed there it has my gear I'm in this one here has the visual next to the numbers it has my total ascent and it has my average speed so now that you've kind of have an out overview of what my screens looks like I'm going to describe them to you and tell you why I set it up this way uh, but before that I want to take a little ride down here I am riding in Big River and we have a log coming up very dangerous log thank you log seen you before and that uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it and you're gonna hear more about what I like about it than don't like because there are more great things about it than they are negative things about it uh, and also there are some things that you should purchase when you do buy it that I feel is extremely beneficial so I've got a pedometer on my bike and I'm actually gauging my or um, tracking my cadence and, and why is that important oh a lot of times if you're trying to maintain a certain pace so whether it's for endurance riding or, or whatever you can kind of maintain a certain pace which will help you to conserve energy uh, and uh, that kind of works in conjunction with just changing gears so if you're trying to maintain a certain cadence uh, depending what the train is like it's going to dictate just like uh, what gear you're in second gauge right above that is my speed so I got a speedometer on my front wheel and I'm measuring my speed now a lot of people use GPS and GPS is fine if you're running and you're out in the open but when you're in the woods you're triangulating so you've got trees and all kind of obstacles you know, you're gonna cheat yourself out every time I've done it both ways the interesting thing about the pedometer is that there's a chart they tell you to use in this 
based on your tire size and rim and all that type of stuff and your air pressure you put in there well I've tried all that and it works to an extent but in order to fine-tune it you literally got to measure it so what I've done is I've actually measured out quarter mile distance and done it with my bike just to make sure that it's calibrated properly done that several times can't say it's easy because uh, there's always little small tweaking that you have to change next is my far top left hand side is I'm measuring my my heart rate now I don't have a hot uh, chest strap chest or chest monitor if you want to call it that I use a wrist I've got a, a Garmin watch uh, brand new Garmin watch I've always had a Garmin watch I used to run and they live old so I basically just sync them together and I broadcast that from my watch and it's perfect it's dead on um, I know that because I've used chest straps and I've also taken my own the, I've done a physical always taking my pulse and yeah, pretty much in line and then on the far top right side is the best it is my gear so as you can see right now this is a 12 speed bike and basically I have an access drive on here how you doing good thank you and as you can see as I'm shifting I'm seeing what gear I'm in and you can set that in different ways you can actually look at a at a bar graph bar which shows your gears you're shifting um, so here you can see that I'm on six gear now I've once said this was a game changer for me and I got a lot of <laughs> got a lot of pushback with some people in the comments what do you mean the game changer and all that kind of stuff I don't mean the game changer like it makes me a better rider or anything what I meant by game changer I tell you what how many times have you been focusing on your ride and concentrating on either making a climb and you're shifting and then you say oh shoot I'm on the wrong gear because you thought you were on a certain gear but you actually wasn't well that's what I mean by game changer for me I don't have that problem neither does anyone else who has access and has something like a Garmin or something they can peer up to and actually switch their gears and the other thing it does yeah I'm gonna make a climb here so I'm gonna make the climb see what this is like this can be a tough climb so with this dropping down one more gear well maybe Two more gears. So the axis peers up with the Garmin 830, and then you go to a bunch of optional settings, and you just put in the settings of your cassette, uh, amount of tooth, and the gears and everything else, and it's just incredible what it does. Um, so as you can see and from there yeah like I said the, oh, a little rock here oh, yeah. the thing about that is that because you've got that because you can see what gears you're in and so when you ride certain trails you recall what gears felt really good uh, and what gears you like to ride in on those trails that's exactly what's 
what's happened to me. I, I don't know what gears I want to be in on a certain line. You know, and a lot of times, and would that have happened if I didn't have the the visuals here on that Garmin 830? No, it wouldn't. And why do I say that? Well, because I know when I'm riding, I'm shifting going by the feel. There are days where you feel stronger than other days, and maybe you can push a little bit harder on uh, different gears in the days that you can't. But if you have a baseline on what you know you can typically ride, then it kind of helps. So that's uh, my second screen. My main screen is basically what my gamma will default to if I stop. So whenever I stop riding, the gamma 830 will default to um, show you in a second going through my screens I'll stop and so if I stop it'll default to my map now on that map the way I've got it set up is is it's linked up to my trail fork so what are my other screens on this Garmin 830. Like I said, my first screen. Oh, before I even do that, did you notice that the screen was changing? I was changing screens, but I wasn't touching the screen. That's because I have this trigger here, which makes it hands free regarding having to take your hands off the handlebar to change your screen do everything off this little shifter right here I just got to get through this first all right so I'll do the shifter right here and but and uh, and in addition to that this Garmin 830 has the touch screen. Uh, if you're gonna buy, if you're gonna buy any kind of device, uh, navigation device, like this Garmin 830, uh, do yourself a favor, it is well worth the extra, you know, $100 or whatever it is to go ahead and just push this one with a touch screen. And if you can spend a little bit more, buy the one with the mountain bike kit, which gives you a protective cover for your Garmin 830. It gives you the strap on hot monitor and it gives you the hands-free uh, remote control. And you hear people say, ah, but, I didn't have the $150 more. To me, that's crazy, crazy. So you're gonna spend X amount of dollars, two or $300 for a device, and say, I didn't have the additional 150 or 100. Here's my advice. Don't buy it, save the 150 or the hundred and then make the purchase nice little drop right here it's off camber yeah that's well worth the well worth the money i'm telling you i hear people say so many crazy things when it comes to when they're purchasing something now i'm not discarding that you know you want to save and not everybody has the money but my belief is if you don't have the money to buy something you really want, then don't buy it. Just wait. Save up. And then once you get the money, buy what you really want. So later on, you're not making excuses to why you got what you got and not what you want. 
that makes sense so I'm gonna go through my screens uh, my other ones and show you what I've got so on the map here you can set a little triangle that's me on there and in the trail that I'm on the red marker or that orange marker I'm not sure how it's appearing to you it's actually my trail that I had carved out to ride and then on the very bottom is uh, to the left is my speed and to the right is my gear that I'm in you're gonna see throughout my screens that I've got some of the similar things on all of them that's because there are certain things I like to see all the time and I break them out on the screens because if you try to put everything on the same screen it all looks too small and I wear glasses but I can't wear glasses when I'm riding so I need them to be big enough where I can make them out so again I don't have to touch my screen all I do is I've got the the remote right on my handlebar that I just press it switches over the screens now I can look over I like to again like I said I like to see visuals I think we've gone through this screen it's my second screen because it's the one I use the most so over on my third screen I have my duration of how long I've been riding it has my mileage um, it has my speed I'm traveling at the very bottom my, it's got my ascent and then it has my average split so it's my average speed on that third screen all right here's a nice rock which you gotta pop over uh, I had to do that so over on my fourth screen it has the time of day it has my time the sun sets very important especially now there's something to get dark early so it's saying there's gonna sunset at 6 o'clock 6 p.m. it's got my outside temperature so I know what temperature it is outside it's, and in my direction I'm heading south so that's what my fourth screen looks like um, so you see all my screens has a purpose so the palm of my hand I've got quite a bit of information on this little Garmin 830 and then moving over to my next screen I believe this is the fifth screen again it's got a lot of the same things just add some stuff so I've got I've got my cadence I've got my heart rate my speed there we go again with a text so maybe I should not have it on there and on this one though if you look we see those bars now you're seeing the the gear that I'm in and it's got it you can see the numbers on the side but then you see the bars as they go up and as I lower my gears as I shift you can see it's shifting the gear so if you're visual where you don't want to read that you get a sense of where you're at over there and then again it's got a couple more other uh small little things at the very bottom uh, which we're seeing my average speed and ascent uh, then if i flip it just does a it just goes around the circle so because i only have five screens uh, if I leave it on here I'm on my trail I can see the trail on the same line it's showing it there and then I'm back but this uh, garment can do a lot more than just this uh, it can give you more information than you could ever need if you it can tell you you can set it up so you can show you hydration uh, so you can set it up so reminds you of 
wants to drink water who needs that if you don't know when you need to drink water you've got other problems um, but so do I recommend the Garmin 830 absolutely I've had this now for approximately uh, I don't even want to guess had it for a few years let me put it that way and it's a great device now the only thing I wish they had if I had a, I recommend something to Garmin is they would have a uh, LED screen something there you go, not a little jump here or a roller can't remember the roller yeah and I would say yeah I said just um I mean the gum wash that I have I'll show you what I got right here I'm looking at my heart rate but that's a LED screen crystal clear beautiful absolutely beautiful oh. I'm gonna make a little jump here. So excuse me for a second. While I oh, I overshot that just a little bit. It's okay. Um I just would recommend that they would make a common with a really crystal clear screen. The screen here is not crisp. Uh so the map, you know, it's a good map, it's all right map, I'm gonna say, it, it is what it is, I mean, tech, honestly, unless I'm someplace I don't know where I'm at, uh, I never really use the map, it's just there, uh, but there are times that I've gone like in New York and New Hampshire and stuff like that, and the map, uh, was important but at that point with the Garmin you just put on directional and it just tells you when to turn you don't even have to look at it you know just like you're navigating in the car it's got the exact same feature again I'm linked so my Garmin is linked to trail fork map so I'm getting on my trails and I I subscribe to trail fork so I get the map uh, for any location you know, with all the features they have to offer alright so we're out uh, nice ride Let's see what we got for mileage 11.32 you know it would be right and it looks like we've been riding for an hour and 34 minutes now, it wouldn't be right if we just end it at that. I think the better number would be 12 miles. That must be Coco. Hey, Coco. Maybe those are dogs that pooped on the trail. I don't know. 